Ever since I started photography, there has been a city in the world I've always wanted to see and photograph. Tokyo. Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, welcome to my cubicle. This hotel room is probably smaller than my college dorm room. But hey, I'm not here to stay in a room all day. I'm here to photograph a city I've wanted to photograph what feels like my entire life, to be honest. Ever since I got into street photography, Tokyo to me has always been this completely different world. On the other side of the globe, that seemed like photography heaven to me. Just from the from the architecture to the colors, the people, to the light, the shadow, just everything so unique and different than what I'm used to back in the States that it, it just seemed like such a joy to photograph. But for whatever reason, this idea of visiting and actually going to Japan and seeing Tokyo it's felt more of like a dream than an actual reality that it could actually happen. And it, it's been a long time coming, but it feels a bit surreal to actually be here now and to actually get to stay here for two months, which, which I'm incredibly grateful for, all thanks to this crazy thing called YouTube. This is only day three that I've been here, but I feel like I've already been here for three months um, by the time you're actually gonna watch this video I've probably been here for a week already but uh, I'm excited to share along some of the experiences and photos that I'm gonna take while I'm here in Japan hey everyone so shooting in Ginza today and I've got the XT5 and the 50 millimeter f2 today let's see what we can make it's pretty gray out though Recently, I feel like I've been very light dependent um, while in New York, but since being here, it's like like you don't even need light to, to shoot. Um, so, let's make some photos. It's, a, it's also Monday, um, Monday morning, so a lot of people headed off to work, so the streets are quite busy. It's pretty cool. A little reflection right here. I like the colors of this corner. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool.
Never seen this many people in my life. TikTok street interviews. Yeah. Hey, what's her name? Like, oh. <laughs> Literally everywhere I look, there's reflections. And it's honestly overwhelming because if you know me, I love to photograph reflections. So when they're everywhere, I sort of don't know what to do. With uh, XRRF today. 15 today. Nice. A lot of people. What are you shooting? 35. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I've been a Squarespace user for the last seven years, using it as a professional space for my favorite works, as well as an e-commerce store to help fund my business as a solo photographer and YouTube creator. You don't need any prior website design knowledge to get yourself started. They have several easy to use templates, as well as the ability to truly customize your website to your own tastes. If it sounds interesting to you, you can try them out for free by visiting squarespace.com slash Faisal and make sure to use the code Faisal at checkout to get 10% off your first purchase.